Hello, I'm Jack, and I want to get back to recording videos about the Beatles. Uh, those guys, and those guys, and those guys. Um, and these guys. Yeah, those are records, don't worry, they have not been stacked like that for long. I just did that because I have to move them to a new box. And I thought, well, if I'm moving them to a new box, I'm going to be picking them up one at a time. So I might as well do a video showing off all my Beatles records. Because, yeah, I like to flex. No, I'm just kidding, because I just want to have this out there, and um, I know that a lot of people like these types of things, so... Yeah, without further ado, let's flex. That's not much of a flex, but I... I'm corny, okay? So, let's put these records in a new box. I don't know how well you can see or hear me, but just go along with it, okay? So, this is going from oldest to... I don't know how to sort mine. I kind of have my, like, compilations, old to new. Then I have it, like, compilate, or not compilate, um, uh, what is it? Movie soundtracks, old to new. And then I have it live, old to new. It's weird how I sort it. I'm, I don't know. And then I have studio album. I sort it weird. I always have count compilations before the actual, like, studio albums. I'm weird. Sorry. It depends, though. I do have the anthologies in front. Just go along with it, okay? <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the 45s. I only have two Beatles-related 45s, and when I say Beatles-related, Beatles-related, I mean Beatles. John Lennon solo, Paul solo, George solo, Ringo solo, All-Star Band, Wings, Traveling Woolberries, Plastic Gun, you know, all that. Julian Lennon, even. I only have these two 45s. Um, I got Red Sails in the Sunset and Matchbox. Original British import. Really cool. Paid 20 bucks for this. Every 45 that the man had was $1, except for this one. So, yeah. And then I got uh, Ebony and Ivory, and I can't remember what the other song is. It's not on here. It's. Um, Rain Clouds. Rain Clouds and Ebony and Ivory. Um, actually just got this not too long ago. Five bucks. Not bad. Um, I need to put it in it. I need to put it in a cover because I want it to be safe. So there's those. I'm not going to put those in my record box because I will never find them if I do. Um, anyways, on to LPs. Boom. We have the Red Album. This was actually one of the first Beatles albums I got. No. This and the Blue Album I got at the same time. I got them for Christmas. These were the first vinyl... This, these were the first Beatles albums I ever owned. Um, when it comes to, like, overall. Like, compilations, at least. Uh, my first actual album was actually Magical Mystery Tour. It's an original. Pretty proud of that. Got it for, like, a dollar. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, so, Red Album has a special place in my heart. Got it for Christmas last year. I've only been collecting since last December. 2021. So we got this. Boom. This video is going to be so long. I don't know how much time has passed already, but this is going to be a long video. Then I got the early Beatles. Pretty much Please Please Me with two less songs. You didn't see that. Pretty much Please Please Me with two less songs. Then we have Something New. Something in the way. I'm going to edit that out. Beatles 65. $13, $14 for that. It's not a bad record. I really love this um, compilation, actually. The only thing I... The only problem I have is actually with this record, specifically itself. Um, whoever had this before was not careful, and on one of my favorite songs ever, No Reply, there was like a huge skip at the start. So, yeah. So that's sad. And this album also holds a special place in my heart. This is uh, Beatles 6. Really good album, um, compilation to me. I don't know, US album. I'm just calling them US albums instead of compilations. It feels weird to call it a compilation. It's a really good album. It's a really good US album. It has some good ones like You Like Me Too Much. That's one of my all-time favorite Beatles songs. Tell Me What You See, Bad Boy, Dizzy Miss Lizzie. I don't know why I get so much hate, but I love Dizzy Miss Lizzie. It's a good song. You cannot change my mind. Eight Days a Week, Yes It Is. Words of Love, Kansas City, I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, Every Little Thing and What You're Doing. There's not a bad song on here. 
I mean, the people don't have the best song. Hell, I find myself singing along to Wild Honey Pie sometimes. So, this is a pretty good album. I really like this. Probably my favorite US album. Um, I really like that one. But, oh, I never even said, uh, that one holds a special place in my heart because my grandmother actually got that for me right before I went to see Elton John in concert. So, yeah. Um, fun fact that may or may not be fun. May or may not be fun. Yeah. Moving on. Let me take you down, Strawberry Fields. Uh, it's a unreleased compilation album. Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Okay. Oh boy, you're about to hear me get mad. So, I went to this record store in a place called Raymond. I live in Mississippi. Um, I don't live near Raymond, but I go there every now and then. And there's this record store there. They're expensive, like expensive as frick. Like really, 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 really expensive. Like. Uh, $40 for this. <laughs> $40 for this. And, um, they also had the concert for Bangladesh for only $50. That was reasonably priced. And I wanted it. But the lady that was running the store, I guess, got confused. It was probably my fault. And put it back. Um, so I bought this instead of, um, uh, Bangladesh. So that made me mad. Um, and now it's sold. I went back to the record store in Raymond, and that and the other album that I really wanted sold. It was Love and Concert for Bangladesh. Those two albums were there, somewhat reasonably priced, and they sold. Many ran over. I'm happy. Blue album. Now, I've actually owned two copies of this album. Um, I got two of them. My mom got me one for Christmas and my grandmother got me one for Christmas. <laughs> Same Christmas, um, and so I just took the one that was in better condition and sold the other. So that one also holds a special plate in my heart. Plate. <laughs> so the Red and the Blue album were the first Beatles complete for the- were the first Beatles records I ever owned. But not the first, like, official studio album. Those are just compilations. And speaking of compilations, Past Masters, 80 bucks, got this at Raymond. Um, I really like this album, it's a good album, it has a lot of stuff that's uh, not on the studio albums, and um, yeah, it's just really good. And a lot of the US albums actually feature songs from there, so there you go. And then A Hard Day's Night soundtrack, really good. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. I don't know who the old man is, but he's very clean. Sorry, I felt the need. Help! I need somebody. And, uh... I only paid $10 for that. It's not too bad. Pretty good album. Very cool album, too. The inside's really neat. Um... That's the last of the movie soundtracks, for now. I'm obviously counting. Beatles Birds. And... This is actually the Sampler album. It's not for sale. Well, guess what? I found it for sale. Yeah, $45. Pretty good record. Nice compilation. And this is my one and only live album by the Beatles, from the Beatles. Live in Hamburg, Germany, 1962. Pretty good album. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. Um, it actually does feature the two, I think it, both, I think both songs on this 45 are on there, but I'm not sure. I know Red Cells and The Sunset is. And now we're on studio albums, Please Please Me, with 12 other songs. And Love Me Do. Really good album, solid album. There's not a bad song on here. My favorite song is currently, <laughs> currently, subject to change, my, um, current favorite song on this album is Ask Me Why. Um, that is very subject to change because um, I listen Beatles songs and albums and yeah Beatles songs and albums are like shoes for me I change them quite often um, yeah so Ask Me Why is my current favorite but I also really like Misery and Chains and uh, P.S. I Love You those are just some of my favorites I also really like The Taste of Honey um, Billy Preston, you have good taste. I'm glad that you like that too. 
I don't know why. A Taste of Honey does not get enough recognition. It needs more. Anyways, with The Beatles, I love this album so much, and I don't think it gets mentioned enough. Um, oh boy, where do I start? Currently, my favorite song of this album is a tie, because yeah, this album's that good. Um, I really like Don't Bother Me, Till There Was You, and Hold Me Tight, and recently I've started listening to Devil in Her Heart a lot more than usual. Um, yeah, that's it. It's a really good album. Uh, yeah, that's it. With the Beatles. Why do I, subconsciously, I feel like I called it Beatles for Sale? Did I call it Beatles for, Beatles for Sale? I don't know, I'll go back and find out. A Hard Day's Night. Really good album. Um, Things We Said Today is definitely my favorite track on this album currently. Um, this is... I'm not going to go into detail yet, I'm going to save that for the ranking. This is currently actually... This and another Beatles... Two other Beatles albums are actually currently tied for my least favorite Beatles album. Um, not because I don't like the songs, just because every other album has way better stuff, in my honest opinion. Um, some of the weak songs on this album, for me, of course, this is everybody's opinion. Um, uh, I should have known better. When I first got into Beatles, I loved that track. Now it's just like I've heard it so much, you know, I just don't really want to, I just don't have the need to go out and hear it as much. But anyways, nonetheless, I still love the Beatles and I will listen to a song happily. There's no song I would ever skip. It's just I don't go out of my way to listen to it. Beatles for, Beatles for Sale. This is one of my favorite Beatles albums of all time. Definitely in my top ten. Look at that awesome picture on the back. Look at them. Look at them. Look at, look at George and Ringo. Here, get a better look. George and Ringo. The best Beatles. Anyways, uh, a lot of good songs on that album. Uh, I'm not even going to go into detail because I really like the whole album. Really good album. Another one that I really like. Um, the weakest song on here for me personally is Ticket to Ride. I love every song on here, including Ticket to Ride. It's just when Ticket to Ride comes on, I don't know. I've just heard it so much throughout my life that, you know, I would rather listen to the rest of the album. Um, my favorite currently is definitely You Like Me Too Much. It has been my favorite for a long time. Uh, it's one of my favorite Harrison songs. Um, Another good one is, um, where is it? Tell Me What You See, I like that one. I've Just Seen a Face. Uh, I really like the whole B-side. The B-side's really good. Um, yeah, there you go. Rubber Soul. Often considered the best Beatles album by some. Um, personally, I don't think it's the best, but I do think it's a really good album. Now, get ready for a controversial topic here. My, fav my favorite song from this album are not the following. My favorite songs in the album are not Girl, In My Life, or Norwegian Wood. I had to look all around for it. Uh, I really like the un I really like the less known songs on here. Um, songs such as You Won't See Me, um, The Word, What Goes On, Wait, and If I Needed Someone. Those are my favorites on the album. They're so good. Underrated Beatles songs are my favorite Beatles songs. Um, yeah. Speaking of underrated, this is a very non-underrated album. Revolver, often considered the best. Currently, it is, like, in my top two, but that's subject to change. Um, Revolver's just an overall good album. There's not a bad song on here. I see a lot of people say that Yellow Submarine does not belong here. Shut up. Yellow Submarine's a good song, and you cannot change my mind. Stop talking shit about Yellow Submarine. It's a good song, okay? Anyways. <clears throat> Excuse my French. Um, yeah, my favorite currently is, uh, a tie between Here, There, and Everywhere, and I'm Only Sleeping, but recently I've also been listening to Tomorrow Never Kno Knows, I Want to Tell You, and, um, Andrew Burke and Sink a lot more. So, yeah, it's, I really don't have a favorite song, it's just changing every day. Sgt. Pepper, also considered one of the best albums. It's funny how Rubber Soul, Revolver, and Sgt. Pepper are, like, always considered, like, some of the best albums. One after another. Anyway, Sgt. Pepper, really cool album. Um, and I think it has the coolest picture. Look at that. 
I love that picture. Um, yeah, Paul's dead because he's looking away. So remember, Paul dead. Bye bye, Paul. Really good album. Not a bad song. Um, uh, some of my favorites currently are Within You and Without You, um, Fixing a Hole, and Mr. Kite. Those are some of my favorites. Uh, I've been listening to those a lot for the past month. Magical Mystery Tour. This was my first Beatles studio album. Even though, actually, I just remembered, this is actually a U.S. album. So I don't even know if this would count. This would... I don't know. This was my first Beatles non-compilation. Well, I don't know. Forget everything I said. Good album. My favorite tracks currently are Blue Jay Way, Your Mother Should Know, I Am The Walrus, and uh, Baby You're a Rich Man. Those are some of my current favorites. Again, that changes all the time. Personally, this is controversial. I like Magical Mystery Tour more than Sgt. Pepper. I know, I said it, I said it. I really like Sgt. Pepper though, don't get me wrong. There's not a bad Beatles album. White Album. Wait, but what's that? It's the Escher demo. Yeah, I got, I got the Escher demo. Um, really cool. Um, I really like the Escher demo actually. Um, there, a lot of the songs on here sound the same. I hear people say that a lot, and I can agree. But some of these sound really good. The Escher demo of Back in the USSR is far superior and way better than the album version, in my opinion. Back in the USSR Escher demo, so good. I love it. But there's also some songs on here that aren't on the White Album, such as What's the New Mary Jane? What a shame Mary Jane had a pain at the party. Um, Not Guilty, Polythene Pam, Mean Mr. Mustard, Circles, Child of Nature, Junk, Sour Milk Sea, and yeah, those are some really good tracks. Um, that's like my favorite part about the Escher demo, next to Back in the USSR. Um, those are just, those songs are like, those will make a good album in itself. I really love all those songs. Um, especially Circles. Circles and Junk, those are some really good songs. Go listen to them if you aren't too familiar with them. And in a month, you'll be addicted, I think. Um, then we got the actual White Album. No, no demo here. And with some of my favorite pictures. Actually, those are the pictures I have up there. Those pictures up there came with this. Um, so yeah, there's the White Album. Pretty cool album. And I actually just recently got this. $150 for an original Master Recording, Beatles, Yellow Submarine, really good album. This is often, uh, I noticed that a lot of people put this at the bottom of their Beatles ranking list. I don't know why, there's like so many good songs on here. Hey Bulldog, It's All Too Much, All Together, I, all together Now, I love it. It needs more recognition. Only a Northern song, I mean there's some good songs, and even some of um, George Martin's orchestral stuff. Those are, I mean, I, obviously I don't go out on my way to listen to them, but when they come on, I mean, it's like, yeah, that does sound pretty good. Especially his uh, orchestral, or, or the orchestral version of Yellow Submarine. Really good. Now, we have Let It Be. Their last, technically their last album, but I, I prefer to say not the last album. It's a really good album. Um, some of my favorites currently are One After 909, The Long and Winding Road, For You Blue. For You Blue is the best track on here. Um, <laughs> Maggie May and I Me Mine. Those are my favorite tracks and have been for like three months. Really good album. I don't, that album doesn't get mentioned a lot either because people say it's unfinished and like that, but I don't care. I love it. This is what I say is their last album. Also considered one of the best albums of all time. Um, it's just a really good album. You can't go wrong with Abbey Road. Uh, my favorite songs are Something, Maxwell Silver Hammer, Why Does Maxwell Not Get Enough Love? It was not fruity. This is the one thing, this is the one time I'm gonna disagree with um, George and Ringo. This song is good. I don't care how fruity or how many times you had to record it, it came out good. You did a good job, boys. Um, Octopus's Garden, and I Want You, She's So Heavy. It only has like 12 words, I think, or 14 words, but it's one of the best Beatles songs ever. And then the whole B-side. The whole B-side is like... 
it's just perfect. Um, there's actually a really cool conspiracy theory um, about the B-side. Um, so, people say that Abbey Road, it's actually a less known conspiracy theory, it is life. Like, Abbey Road is life. Um, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. The world started with light and all that. I don't know, I'll put a link to it if I can find it. But it's pretty cool. It's like it tells life in some way. The Beatles, again. Really good album. Fun fact, this was actually supposed to be the front cover, and that was supposed to be the back. But they accidentally flipped it, and yeah. Really good compilation album. Um, it's actually kind of forgotten, which is weird, because it has Hey Jude, arguably one of the most popular Beatles songs. Speaking of Hey Jude, this has nothing to do with it, I just said that. Anthology 1, really good album, solid album. I'm not even going to start naming off my favorites because it's pretty much just every song on there. But um, pretty much every song that's like finished and not on an album, such as That'll Be The Day and their version of That'll Be The Day and yeah, In Spite Of All The Danger, You Know What To Do, those are some of my favorites. There's many more that I'm not naming off. Um, Anthology 2, controversial topic. The Anthology 2 version of Gotta Get You Into My Life is far better than the one on Revolver. I love Revolver, but that version, compared to this, is nothing. The an oh, speaking of Anthology 2, the Anthology 2 version, um, Strawberry Fields Take 1, far better than Strawberry Fields Take whatever. Take 1 of Strawberry Fields is the best version of Strawberry Fields. I will take that to my grave. Anyways, speaking of Hey Jude, <laughs> boom, the album that has Hey Jude. You know what? Funnily enough, this says it. Uh, you can't read that, but it says it has Hey Jude on it. Um, this is a really good album. It has Junk, Not Guilty, um, All Things Must Pass, a bunch of good albums. Songs. Songs. I didn't say albums, you said albums. Really good album. I love the um, anthologies. So, I'm so privileged to have them on and on vinyl. Uh, my grandmother actually has all three of them on CD, and I'm like, okay, I want them now. And then a few months later, now I got them on vinyl, and I'm like, ha, huh, grandma, yeah. I'm just kidding, I love my grandma. And she loves the Beatles, so, peace. You done stepped into the wrong strawberry fields. Cause this is the extended cut of the video. I say that, but I'm probably gonna shove it somewhere random in the video because, yeah, I'm not professional at all. I'm crazy. So, anyways, um, yeah, uh, there are um some records that I got just today, just now, not too long ago, because the um, the people, th th the people that I live with threw me a random surprise birthday party that I actually had no idea about, because they told me, oh, we're just going to one of my mom's meetings, which is normal because she has a lot of meetings. And so I was like, oh, I guess I'm being dragged to this. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting anything, and I walked in, and everybody's like, happy birthday! And I was like, yay! And then I walked into the bathroom, because they gave me this awesome shirt that says, they say it's my birthday. So I went in there to change it, and then um, I found out that my grandparent and aunt um, from Arkansas were in there, because my aunt was in the bathroom. And it was perfectly timed because I walked in and I was like, you're here too? And she was like, yes. And I was like, why are you in the bathroom? And I'm like, I don't know. It was funny. Um, anyways, time to show off the records that I just got. Um, so, yeah, you know how I had that fit about um, the concept for Bangladesh? Well, guess what? I got it now. So, yay. I'm happy. Um, and I think I talked about this one too. Um, Beatles Sessions. I wasn't as mad about that one. Um, the main reason I wanted it was because... Um, and Christmas time is here. Um, I got a, uh... Trivia, or not trivia, um, damn. Uh, what is it? Uh, interview. I got Rare Beetles. Um, the interview and Rare Beetles and this last one actually all come from a very great friend of my grandma and grandpa. Um, my grandpa actually passed away, um, earlier this year. And they were really great friends, my, um, and... He... No, I'm so dumb. Wait, no, I am not dumb. I'm, I am dumb, but I am dumb for saying, thinking I got the wrong friend. Anyways, um, the, my great, my, the friend, the great friend of my grandma and grandpa, um, 
is a huge Beatles fan, not nearly, not as big as me, but, you know, a very big fan. And, um, so that record I just showed you, Rare Beatles and Beatles Interview, and this, all came from him, which is very surprising, because, um, he does, he does have records, and he often lets me just grab a few for free, but he never lets me have access to his Beatles, because, like I said, he's a pretty big Beatles fan. But he did, I guess, since it's my birthday, he gave me a few. Um... So yeah, that's all. Uh, extended cut is gone. Alright. Let me take you down, cause you're going to the rest of the video. Now we're on to George Harrison. Um, I have it sorted alphabetically, so Beatles, George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul, Traveling Wilburys, Ringo, and the Winks. I think. The best of George Harrison. Now this is a really good album, um, and a really neat one too. The side one is all Beatles, and side two is all solo. It's a really good album. Um, the only thing I don't like about George Harrison Greatest Hits is if it was really a Greatest Hits, it would need pretty much his whole album. Because <laughs> I am, if you couldn't tell, I'm one of the huge George Harrison fans. And I love his discover discover I love his songs. Um, I'm currently listening to George Harrison. It's very quiet because I don't want to get um, demonetized, or whatever. Um, yeah. George, love you. Um, George, George is my favorite Beatle, to keep them tell. Speaking of George, I grabbed two albums. <clears throat> All things must pass. This is an original. It's not in the best shape, but it does have the original poster, and I'm, I'm so ready to hang it up somewhere. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to move the Elvis poster down over to the other side of my room. Um, and it does actually have a tear, like when it, I have to be careful opening it because like right, excuse me, right about there, down, it's all torn. So whoever had it last was not careful. And that triggers me. Then we have Living in the Material World. I need to stop doing that, that's cringe. Um, Living in the Material World, really great album. Um, some of my favorites are Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth, Sumi Su You Blues. Sumi Su You Blues has no right being that good. A song about your partner suing you. Your former bandmate slash former friend suing you. You're like, I'm gonna make a song about that. And then it be so it, it be so much of a banger. It's so good it's making me lose English. Ugh, I'm not even gonna go on. This whole album is so good. Listen to it. Please. Dark Horse. This was actually my second George Harrison album ever. Um, it's really good. I really love the back picture. I love any picture of George Harrison, really. Um, yeah, really good album. Extra texture, read all about it. Um, mine does not, mine is in bad shape. It's got like coffee and stuff on it or whatever that is. Whoever owned it before me did not take good care of it, but it plays just like brand new. Uh, really good album. Not even going into my favorite songs because, like I said, I'm a George I'm a George Harrison mega fan. I mean, there's not a song. There is seriously not an album slash song that he has. I've listened to his whole discography multiple times. Thirty three and the third. I really like this album. Um, I am gonna actually get into detail on this one. Cracker Box Palace has the best video ever, ever. Every video on YouTube is decent, but the Cracker Box Palace. Oh, it's a cake. I love the video for Cracker Box Palace. It's so good. Uh, Beautiful Girl is also a really good song. Um, yeah, Pure Smoky. Good. Good album. Speaking of albums, this was actually my first George Harrison album ever. Um, I got this before I even got, like, I got this, this, I got this pretty much before I got any other Beatles. When I got this, I only had the Red Blue album and Magical Mystery Tour. And then I had this. This is my fourth Beatles related album. And I love this album so much. Every song on here is so good. Love comes to everyone. Not guilty. Here comes the moon. Soft hearted Hannah. Blow away. Faster. Dark sweet lady. Your love is forever. Soft touch. If you believe. Such a good album. And I love that picture on the back. I love it so much. This is a good album. I love it. Um, such a good album. Somewhere in England. Now, there's actually two uh, covers of this album. I got this one. Somebody tell me now, why do people print do that? Why do people put holes in their albums? 
Anyways, really good album. Um, it has a lot of um, good songs on it. And speaking of good albums, Gone Tropo. This album does not get the recognition it deserves. It's such a good album. My favorite song is definitely a tie between Gone Tropo and I Really Love You and Circles. I Really Love You is so fun. I love it so much. It's pretty much, to me, it's like um, George's version of if you... Uh, you, it's pretty much I don't I'm losing English it's such a good song go listen to I Really Love You right now on um, Gone Tropo it's such a good album ah, I love it um, oh the instrumental track Grease really good too it's a good it's a good uh, thing to listen to okay George is coming to an end this is the last one I have I don't have Brainwashed yet um, but I do have Cloud Nine and this is probably my favorite George album George is the only Beatle that I think had the perfect solo career. Every album, mm, so good for me. I mean, when like his his later albums, like Brainwash, Cloud Nine, and Gone Tropo, are just as good as his first albums. All Things Must Pass, Living in the Material World, Dark Horse, it's just as good. I'm not gonna like say that I don't like John and Paul and Ringo. I love them, love them. But like you know, obviously, like '90s. Paul music kind of went down. I don't hate it. It's just, you know, compared to the other stuff, it's not as good. Anyways, on to John. I'm going to cover that just because I don't know if I can get anything to happen. Uh, Plastic Ono Band compilation album. Has a lot of good songs on it. Give Peace a Chance, Instant Karma, Power to the People, Imagine, Woman Is, uh, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, Mind Games, Cold Turkey, Happy Xmas, War is Over. Uh, is that Mother? I think it's Mother, yeah. Mother and... Um, Number nine, Dream. Uh, this is actually the first Lennon record I ever got. Um, sadly, there is a huge skip on Cold Turkey. Um, like as soon as the song starts playing, it does does the guitar for a little bit, and then it just skips like 90% of the song. So whoever owned this before, I'm sorry, but I have beef with you. Um, really good album. Really, really good album. Speaking of good album, Plastic Ono Band. Um, a lot of people will say this is one of his worst because um, he's just being an emotional teenager, which I love it when people say this album is just John being an emotional teenager. Um, despite all that, it's a pretty decent album. Um, controversial, but the song God has the best piano of all of his songs, in my opinion. I love the, the piano is so powerful in that song. Um, anyways, imagine... I mean, it's, it's, this is an original. I paid a hundred bucks for this. Still, I think I really got ripped off. It looks good here, but the actual album has some... They have some spots. I think I got ripped off. I shouldn't have paid a hundred dollars. But it does have the original little post uh, postcard that has him mocking Paul's Ram album cover. And it also has the poster. I'm gonna hang that up somewhere too. Really good album. Um, Jealous Guy will always be my favorite song on that album. It's such a, such a good track. Um, Child of Nature is good too. I don't know why people say Child of Nature sucks, but Jealous Guy rules. They're both good. Uh, Rock and Roll. This is a really good album. Just John doing the music that he likes, which is just good old rock and roll. Um, some of my favorites are Bebop Aluda, Stand By Me, uh, Ready Teddy slash Rip It Up, You Can't Catch Me, Ain't That a Shame, Sweet Little Sixteen, Slipping in the Sliding, Peggy Sue, and yeah, yeah. Those are some of my favorites. Um, and, uh, oh, what was it? Just Because. I forgot to mention Just Because. Rock and Roll is just a really good album. And I think it needs to be mentioned more often. And my last album, I don't have much linen, which is sad. I want more linen. Um, Double Fantasy, it's the last album ever. Um, kind of. What am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> uh, really good album. Uh, it actually has some Yoko songs on it too. Uh, I'm not a Yoko hater, um, nor am I a Yoko defender. I don't know which side I'm on. I don't... I mean, I know she's done some good things, I know she's done some bad things, so I just... I don't know. I don't want to say something and then make somebody that's on the opposite side mad. Um, Julian Lennon. This is my favorite Lin uh, Julian Lennon record. Favorite song on here is definitely Jesse. Um, that's the only Julian I have. Now on to McCartney. Boom, all the best. This is an original. Paid 30 bucks for it. It's a really good album. 
Um, it has a lot of good songs on it. Band on the Run, Jet, I'm not even going to go on. It's a good album. I'm so glad I have it. And speaking of good albums, <laughs> McCartney! What? Now, my favorite thing about this album is not the songs. No, no, no. My favorite thing is... Can I get it open? My favorite technical difficulties. My favorite thing about this album is the inside. Especially the Paul photo up there. Look at that. That's everything I've ever needed in my life was Paul on the beach doing that. That's I love it. 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 My favorite thing about the album. Oh, the back. Yeah. Um, I really like Junk. And that Junk's probably my favorite song on the uh, album. Ram. Currently my favorite. It's a tie between my, uh, this and Pipes of Peace are like tied for my favorite. Pipes of Peace is really good. Um, but anyways, Ram, um, this is actually my third time owning this album. <laughs> I bought it once, like whenever I was still getting into Paul's music, and I thought it was too weird, so I sold it. <laughs> I sold it and McCartney too. And then I was like, no, I regret selling it because now I like it and love it. And I, I, for, I regretted it like three months ago. I was like, no, why did I sell it? I love that album now. So I rebought it, and that the one that I rebought was over there because it's in terrible shape. It has like a, like all of this part is torn off. Um, so then I I bought a new one. This is like twelve dollars, not a bad deal at all. It's in so much better shape. And my favorite songs are the whole album. It's I believe this is Paul's best album. Is it my favorite? Probably not. I think Pipes of Pieces is like has the edge. But I do think that's his best. I don't think there's a bad song on Ram. It's just an overall good album. Speaking of good albums, McCartney 2. Temporary Secretary is seriously one of my favorite songs. Not saying it for the memes or anything. It's just a good song. Um, speaking of good albums, Tug of War. 80s Paul was so good. I love Paul from the 80s. And Wings. Uh, Paul slash Wings. Really good album. Um, Wanderlust and Ballroom Dancing are probably my favorite tracks. Really good tracks. Um, speaking of really good albums, Pipes of Peace. Probably my favorite album. It's not a bad song on here. So Bad is definitely my favorite. Um, yeah, it's just a really good album. You should definitely listen to it if you haven't. Give my regards to Broad Street. Really good um, soundtrack. Uh, my favorite thing on here is probably uh, his version, his different version of 4 No One. Fun fact that may not be fun to you, Ringo actually refused to play drums on any Beatles songs on this movie because he was afraid that he would either not play it right or he would play it better than the original. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that he refused to do that. That's funny. I love you, Ringo. He was afraid he would play it better. I love Ringo so much. Um, 80s Ringo is good too. And McCartney 3. Yes, I have the trilogy. I have all three McCartneys. McCartney 3 is actually really good. Um, I think it needs more love. But speaking of love, peace and love, and toes, we got Ringo. Um, Blast from Your Past, really good album, compilation, you know what I mean. Ringo! Yeah, it's a really good album. Um, it was actually my first Ringo album that I ever owned. Speaking of Ringo, we got Good Night Vienna, really good album. Um, yeah, Acapella is one of my favorite songs on there, such a good song. And uh, A Dose of Rock and Roll, I love it. This album is pretty good too. Um, Cooking and uh, uh, I'm losing my mind. Anyways, it's a good, it's a good album. I'm running out of time, I think. Take the time to stop, smell the roses. Really good album, really underrated. Um, Stop and Take the Time to Smell the Roses is definitely my favorite song on here. Rack My Brain is good too, and Drumming is My Madness. I love it. Such a good album. Zoom in, zoom out. But don't tell Paul I said this, but between Paul and Ringo, I think Ringo has the better career when it comes to like 90s to now. Um, I, love, I still love some of Paul's albums these days. I just think Ringo does it better. And boom, Traveling Wilburys. Volume 1, such a good album. I wish the Wilburys could do more. Um, yeah, I only have this one. I don't have Volume 3 um, or Volume 2. I don't I don't have Volume 2. I uh, hope I can get my hands on Wilburys Volume 2 someday. If you know, you know. 
Wings, greatest hits. Um, really good compilation. Uh, yeah. Band on the run. I said I needed to stop doing that. This is actually my second time owning this album. Bought it twice. Um, I bought one, and it was not in great condition, so I bought another one. And this one's still not in the greatest. I'm going to get a better one. But um, it's original, so yeah. I don't. All of my solo stuff is original. The only time I, the only things I have represses of are Beatles, and the only represses are like studio albums. Most of my other Beatles stuff is original. So yeah, uh, there you go. Venus and Mars, absolutely one of my favorite Paul. I mean uh, Wings albums. It's so good. Venus and Mars. Rock Show, Love in a Song, um, Magento and Titanium Man, Letting Go, those are just some of my favorites, Call Me Back Again, and um, Listen to What the Man Said, those are some of my favorites. And speaking of wings, boom, live, yeah, it still has the poster in, I'm so ready to hang it up. My favorite uh, thing about this album is actually... Um, some of the live songs on here I much prefer over the album versions, like Maybe I'm Amazed. The live version of Maybe I'm Amazed is so good. I think it's better than the studio album version, but to each their own. Uh, oh man, we're at the end, which is why I'm going to stand up and present to you my last album, London Town. Uh, Morse Moose, it's definitely my favorite song on here. Actually, know with a little luck is, and then followed by more smooths. Yeah. So there you go. That is, those are currently all my Beatles albums. Um, pretty much everything I said is subject to change, except for the fact that Ringo and George are my favorites. Um, that's the only thing that will not change. So there we go. I finally uh, did that. I've been wanting to make that video like forever, and so I finally did it. Um, by the way. I was sitting on a pillow the whole time, so my like my leg is killing me, and like it's dead, so I can't feel it, and I feel like I'm about to fall over. So I need to make this outro quick. Um, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. Bye, Van Gogh. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to do outros. Somebody give me, help me with a Beatles-related outro. Hope you enjoyed. If you sat through this, you're a G, like for real. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Peace and love.